Hello, everyone, and thanks so much for logging on to CBSDenver.com. Time for a few more minutes with our Xfinity Monday Live guest tonight, former Broncos receiver Brandon Stokely. I want to talk about the guy who played your position and played it very well yesterday, Demarius Thomas. What did you see out of DT in it? 29 and all the injuries that he's had, how is he still able to do what he did yesterday? Well, he keeps himself in great shape. Um, you saw the big playability come back, and uh, the, the touchdown early in that first quarter was big to, to get the momentum going, get that confidence back for this offense. So, And he continued that the rest of the game. They're going to need more of that the last three games if they want to keep producing offensively. You know the key to that is going vegan. That's it. Had you go, gone, had you gone vegan? I couldn't go vegan. I, <laughs> I couldn't. I couldn't. I, you know, I, uh, I I love steak. I love steak. So no vegan for me. Heard you on the radio. I'm not knocking it. I heard I'm you, not knocking I heard it. Heard you but. on the radio show today talking about that with your partner Zach. That was great. Uh, Trevor Simeon looked so much better yesterday. I mean, we saw him toward the end of the Oakland game, and you thought, okay, hey, he's got the swagger back. But then they went to Miami didn't play well there. Then they come out yesterday against the Jets, and Trevor plays really well. What's with the up and down kind of roller coaster they, that Trevor's been on? They started fast, and the defense got him an early turnover. They got on the board early. Then the pass to Demaryius for that touchdown got him comfortable, got him in a rhythm, and then they were able to, you know, we could see the formula, run the football, and we don't have to press and, and, and score, you know, 21 points in one quarter. So you saw Trevor Simeon, that, that this was supposed to be the case all year, and it hasn't worked out that way but when he's got a lead and he feels comfortable, he's a really good quarterback. The Broncos are sitting there. They're at 4-9 and nine right now. They know the playoffs are out of reach. You were fortunate enough to not be on too many teams where that was the case, at least not this early in the season. But when, what you do remember from those teams, when it was the last couple of weeks of the year, you knew playoffs weren't in the picture. How do they stay motivated inside that locker room? Well, you know what? Now you go from more of the team to, to looking at your individual self. And, and you got to continue to play at a high level because you don't know if you're going to be around next year. You want to put good film out there and you want to show that it still means something to you. Every time you go out on the football field, it's about competition. It's about beating the man in front of you. And it's about, you know, walking off that field knowing you gave it everything you had. And that's what you saw from all the Broncos yesterday. When things go south, like they had been going for the Broncos, how hard is it? to stop that it's tough you know once once it gets snowball in the wrong direction it's hard to get it changed and get it fixed and um you saw it with the broncos it started getting bad there uh against the giants game and they weren't able to stop it but they were finally able to get that win and that was a big win for them you could see it you could see the emotions in the locker room and the joy from one win that's what it'll do for you where does this team do over the next three weeks to kind of right the ship heading into the offseason? Well, I think offensively, you want to continue building continuity with Bill Musgrave, the new offensive coordinator. And defense, defensively, build off of what you were able to do against the Jets and continue to do that. Joe Woods, first-year defense coordinator, obviously his best game that he called. Uh, so I think offensively, uh, you, you want to continue to build off of Bill Musgrave's offense and defensively, Joe Woods. Build off that last game and continue to dominate like you did against the Jets. We'll see if they can do it Thursday night in Indianapolis. Brandon, always enjoy having Thanks, you on. Thanks, buddy. And thanks so much for coming by. And thank you for logging on to CBSDenver.com.